Totally the Batmobile. And I'm a superstar. So you know me. And you know the game. And you know the fame. So you can't not complain. I come to my city. And I bring my sweet car. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Yeah, you know I'm Batman. So you know. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I said it, I'm Batman. Everything's cool when you are just Batman. I can take you to school because I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Yeah, you know I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Yeah, I throw my black blacks everywhere. Everybody knows that I'm scared when I come and you know that I don't care and I don't wash my hair because I'm Batman. What's up, my civilian? It's your boy my star twice the nice that you were used to. Bam! Yeah, we are checking out today. Everything is Batman. Everything is cool when you're Batman. Everything is Batman. The cool was from Batman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're checking everything. Everything great about. That Lego Batman, everything great about Lego Batman. Now this was a really good. It was a really good movie, dude, and it was a really funny movie. You know what I'm saying? There's a certain jokes that I was like, how did they get away with that? But then you're like, eh, yeah, eh, eh, you know, just eh. <laughs> All right, so let me just find it here. Un momentito, por favor, because my computer is deciding to be slow. And as you know, this is the Lego Batman. So, Batman Lego. <laughs> ah, sorry, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not. I'm not gonna stop. I'm sorry. Lego. Be great. I love this channel. Scary music that would make a parent or studio executive nervous. This is almost more meta than Deadpool's opening. I don't think I'll ever be able to watch a film again without hearing Will Arnett's voice. <laughs> in and logos. It, 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 it actually is. Eh? Logos. Unless you're worried about getting sin for them, that is. This is MacGuffin Airlines. Oh man, MacGuffin Airlines. Seriously, this is one of the best openings to a film ever. Talking about corporate logos, stealing from Michael Jackson, and now the first spoken dialogue in-universe is another meta joke. You know you're in for a ride before anyone important is even on screen. 150 cute little classic bomb-type bombs and two, two best, best friends. friends. Friendship. Even our villains are decent guys. Strapping the co-pilot up with a parachute. <laughs> I'm your new co-pilot. And I always come to work with a smile. All right, it's not Ledger's Joker intro, but it's pretty dang creepy and good if you know who the Joker is. I will be taking over the city. Mm, what? Batman will stop you. Also, early fun fact, the director, Chris McKay, voiced the pilot. He oh. always stops you. No, he doesn't. What about that time with the two boats? I mean, <laughs> technically it was the goodness of one cross-eyed inmate's heart and the wussiness of that bald guy that beat the Joker that time. Like that time with the parade and the Prince music? At least that time he was giving away money. The Riddler! <laughs> Scarecrow! Babe! Hello! Two-Face! Catwoman! Meow meow, you're in! Meow meow! Poison Ivy! Pew 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 pew! Mr. Freeze! Penguin! Okay, so we're not holding back. No need for villain origins, just throw them all at us. I'm liking this fresh take. Okay, are you making some of those up? Nope, they're all real. Probably worth the Google. Yeah, he's right. They're real. So the writers get a doing your homework win. Yes, but all I'm getting is this Hulk music. I love it. Ah, 
not even six minutes into this movie and they've packed so much in. So many jokes and intro at almost every single important Batman villain in what seems to be a combination of different comic and film versions. Gotham City, I did something! Oof, shots fired, Suicide Squad. Ooh. Whoa. <coughs> Socialist Labor Party? Referencing the year they nominated a convicted killer to POTUS? Or just a random set of letters and numbers? Maybe. Bionicle Man, Two Shades of Blay? Is anyone safe? And holy cow, Falcone Express, get what's coming to you. Hey, it's Emmett. So what's the big deal? Just like, come to life and jump back through. Then you'll be a master builder anyway. But in all seriousness, I love the hints that there is another dimension beyond the LEGO universe that the LEGO Gothamites don't totally understand. A little hint at Mariah Carey's true identity with the trench coat flapping in the wind. I'm playing roulette. Yes! Always bet on black. And now they're twisting the opening of the Dark Knight by having Batman the one in the mask? Are you nuts? You wanna get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Just don't smash any faces. <laughs> Come on, let's get nuts. Yep, just all of it. The heavy metal original Batman theme medley, Siri crashing through the wall, the slow motion headbanging. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Persistent. <laughs> Never sounded better. What a great way to combine a full tilt action movie with a kids movie by having weapon sound effects made by the characters. You sure you want that? Hey man, I love you more than my kids. So do I, guy. Honesty? Also, what a cold open. A fun action set piece that sort of combines Bane and Joker's opening heist from the Nolan trilogy and then establishes Joker and Batman's relation work association, and we get to see Batman saving Gotham and greeting his adoring fans. There is no us. And the entire heist sequence was all really just to set up the main conflict of Batman's life that he won't acknowledge yet. Good stuff. Showing some love to orphans, giving them some oral hygiene lessons in the form of swag, and then Batmaning it out of there? You're my hero! Can't say I don't not dislike this song. Also, Batmobile transforming into Batwing that gives Megatron a run for his money. And then it's just one of the coolest shots in the film. Hey, Peter. What's up, Batman? The What's fact up, that they Bat actually use ah! Siri? I guess it's strange not to pay an actual actress, but come on. Lighting is phenomenal. The bat cowl shadow spinning around the darkness totally plays into Batman's isolation. And now we get into something that really impresses me about this film their willingness to slow down. These two very relatable beats, messing up the microwave time and guessing the wrong HDMI, perfectly illustrate Batman's empty life and humanize him behind the scenes in a way not many other films have done. But where are his parents? What could have happened to them? I assume something crime related? Yeah. Recognizing all your past iterations, making... Uh, we don't have a Batman name for Will Arnett, huh? Batnet? Batwill? Willbat? Willbat. Making Willbat the ultimate Batman. Yeah. Uh, it's morning. It's, uh... Or should it be Vil Arnett? Draculet? Time for push-ups. One. Good way for Batman to begin the day, eh? No, 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 you no. You might meet some new people. No, 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 no. Bat tantrum. No, 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 no. I knew I wasn't the only person who liked Man of Steel. I'm starting to get an idea. <laughs> Light bulb. Adding to what they accomplished in the Lego movie, this snorry cam selfie shot showcases the imperfections in the Lego pieces from the bright flash, and they also added a bit more head movement to the Lego men this time around. My name's Richard Grayson, but all the kids at the orphanage call me Dick. Well, children can be cruel. Yeah. Uh -huh. Scott Pilla, I mean, Michael Sarah is always a win. Oh, that was Michael Sarah. Everyone's favorite cutting crew song that will always transport me right back to Vice City and how when certain songs would come on, I'd start driving really slow and careful so I wouldn't miss a second of the song after bailing for my flaming cheetah. Did I get experimental surgery to make my eyes larger and more vulnerable looking? Uh, do that. Optical surgery advice. Not a Batman. Waiter. Sir? <laughs> what? Commitment to a bit. Wouldn't that be better? Hi! Joker, no! Surrender. Parodying all the Batman cliches in this movie. The Joker always wants to get caught, so why not just surrender? Blink, blink, blink. Blinkity, blink, blink, blink. Are you actually saying blink? No! Blink, blink. Inconspicuousness. One is the loneliest <laughs> number that you'll ever do. All right. I'm not going to say this is a better use of a song montage than Amy Mann's Wise Up in Magnolia, which also featured this song in its opening, which this reminded me of for some reason, but it's pretty darn close. The colors slowly fading to black and white with the exception of some accent color after the entirely oversaturated opening sequence constantly lit by red and blue lights. 
than the quick cut montage of Batman walking alone while citizens flip cop cars. Like the rest of the film, it's expertly edited. And of course, a Batman is lonely montage is the fastest way to get a new son. Also, are those traffic cones? Like, did their bent legs turn into traffic cones to convey a bent knee? Man, talk about sticking to your own rules when no one else would even notice. Hello, table! So it's like a thing in the Lego universe to greet inanimate objects? Series continuity. The bat... shark repellent? Check off shark repellent. Mm -hmm. You also have beautiful abs. Siri compliments. And small. Very. And quiet. When I desire to be. Compliance. De Niro and Travolta film references, comic book references, arrow references. This movie must have had a team of people just devoted to Easter eggs. Yeah. 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 Yes, 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 yeah. Oh. Seatbelt safety lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Gotham to have a slogan that mocks Superman. And references Hal Jordan's employer. Yep, it's a plane. I'm gonna be a superhero and go on awesome superhero missions like this one. Can we use code names? Take note every movie who thinks your action scenes are interesting enough without dialogue or some form of banter. This is better. I called you Padre, Spanish for dad. Isn't it also a cool Spanish way to say buddy? Yeah, I could have been saying it that way. Then I'll allow it. Compromise. Such a great Padre. Hug it. Never mind. I mean, if, if I met the right lady, and if she was just standing right in front of me, and we looked at each other and thought, hey, let's do this. Flirting. Welcome Smooth. to the Phantom Zone, bad guy. Yeah, bad guy. My name is Phyllis. Oh. Typical Aaron getting her name confused with someone she works with. Don't want to jinx us, but I'll be a lot happier when this Phantom Zone projector is locked up. Is that everything is awesome Muzak to distract us from Harley beating people up in an elevator again? I'm gonna go start looting. Opportunism. <laughs> and they're just like me, the greatest villains. You'll never see. I know Mark Hamill pretty much owns best animated Joker voice, but Zach Galifianakis really ain't too shabby. And British robot. <laughs> Ask your nerd friends. Ask who now? No group, get up! Joker out! Little Dark Knight handheld homage? You know, that scene where he murders the cop. <laughs> bad beatboxing and bad dancing. Watch four five. With TV's Mia Wallace? For a loader, Batman. You sure like movies about relationships. <laughs> This got a reaction just like a sad puppy. Engine one down. Not a big deal, don't worry about it, it's fine. Engine two down. It does that sometimes. Optimism. Engine four! That I do need to fix. Realism. Saving your Robin and such a great callback to his first choice between capturing the Joker or disarming the bomb. Once Alfred falls, it's his first lesson in learning he needs to lean on his friends. Tricky, tricky movie. Having Alfred disappear into the mist like it's a tasteful death. Had me going. I know Jim Carter. There are some righteous 80s references in this film. Ready, duck, cobbler. <laughs> Ray finds gunner noises that are so realistic sounding he may have crossed back over into too intense for kids territory, which means he deserves a win. Air My eye. Teamwork. Lord of the Rings font on Sauron's video feed. And you were awesome. Thanks. And you were awesome. I love compliments. You were awesome. And More compliments. You know how I feel about reflections in animated films, even if it is just a result of pre-programmed surfaces. But this time we have accurate colors from the TV monitor lighting Batman's face as he watches the feed. No, I was trying to protect them. By pushing them away? Are they really the ones you're protecting? And this gives a whole new meaning to the times Batman has pushed people away throughout his existence. So the Scuttler is pretty much the coolest bat vehicle we've ever seen in film. Can walk over rough terrain with its extension arms, flies like a bird, swings around cliffs. I was afraid of feeling the pain you feel when you lose someone close to you. Genuine honesty from an infallible character that I'll get into more later. I need your help. I thought you'd never ask. That makes two superhero teams Rosario Dawson is a part of as a mere mortal. Joker said mean stuff to us. Finally, Billy D. Williams gets his moment as Two-Face after being trapped as Harvey Dent for almost 30 years. He yeah. takes a village, not a Batman. What are we, some kind of village? Batgirl. If you call me Batgirl, can I call you Batboy? Take that, DC! Because it's not like Barbara Gordon was actually a young girl when she first joined Batman. Besides, we've pretty much agreed as a culture to ignore the Killing Joke continuity, right? Wham! is always a win, especially when referenced by George Michael. Blue. No! And then Lego Batman rickrolled millions of people all at once. This music is filling me with rage. Let's use it. Alright team, 
I'm gonna need- Not to say that Alesso's song with Tove Lo singing isn't really great. I just have to give them credit for using a not-so-typical action fight sequence song, but still totally making it work. Remember these skeletons? Now, drive up the wall. Batmaning lessons. Uh, Together we're gonna punch these guys so hard. <laughs> I love this fight. scene. The impact are gonna swap I love it. Out of thin air. And nothing better <laughs> would ever happen in a film for the year 2017. Back. You wanna see a magic trick? I'm gonna make you disappear! That's a cool Ledger Joker reference, and although I'm a tad annoyed Alfred Fiennes didn't have a showdown with Voldy yeah. Wizard, just having them in the same film is worth a win. Get off my punch me! It wasn't useless after all. Check off shark repellent callback uh. payoff. And a solution only befitting a movie featuring Lego people. Aid is feeling warm and fuzzy. Ah. <laughs> The lighting throughout is pretty amazing, but this is just a perfect example of how they use side lighting to set the tone and really draw us into the emotion of the scene. Hugging. I know this part of the score is leading to a punchline, like 99.99% .99 of everything in this film, but it's so thoroughly new while still precisely Batman, I had to point it out. Nothing more 80s cheese has no. ever happened in this level of amazing film. A song about friendship, a white party dance party, and a bunch of Legos putting the aerobic championship to shame. And I love it. The title roll. Now it's time to be the star. Let Alfred loose on his guitar. Man, even the credits have some of the best rapping in a movie since 8 Mile. I'm not the first to say it, and there are quite a few variables to consider, but this is possibly the best, at the very least the most accurate, and somehow most realistic Batman representation in film to date. I know, how can a film starring Legos, yes, I don't care that the plural of Lego is Lego, it sounds weird, so Legos. How can a film starring Legos be the most realistic? Well, a large part of what makes it realistic is adherence to its own internal rules. Lego Batman is the conglomeration of just about every incarnation of Batman. So every skill or power he's been bestowed with, everything from the 1960s show to the New 52 to the Nolan trilogy to Batman v Superman, it's all part of this guy. Which means he's super old, super intelligent, and just about nearly invincible. And he's the one that always saves the mm -hmm. day. So this counter is probably pretty close to accurate. So of course he's going to be cocky and arrogant. And of course the Joker, who has been battling him for 78 years, would be hurt that he doesn't value their relationship. All that to say, if you take everything that makes Lego Batman Batman into consideration, this is about as accurate a personality as you could get. And while other mediums have dealt with his familial issues, nothing ever quite like this. The loner side of Batman, and the real reason he insists on being and working alone, and eating crunchy lobster alone. And the surplus of bat villains, bat gadgets, and bat vehicles on display starkly illustrates the one thing missing, a bat family. But speaking of the bad excess, it's as if they took all the Hollywood rules and then they did the opposite. Not a vehicle or costume left unshown. It's actually pretty refreshing in the age of the cinematic universe, or at least sequel universe. Whether or not this was going to be the only Lego Batman movie, they were going to give it all to us. And somehow the Lego medium ended up being one of the best ways to make hardcore Batman kicking butt action work alongside full-on Camp Robin. Come on, Batman, let's get grooving! Yeah. A lot of this yeah. film had more of a made-for-kids feeling to it, with the friends or family theme being pushed pretty hard but the undercurrent theme of equating a hero-villain relationship to a romantic relationship is pretty ingenious and teeters on the adult theme line. I... hate you. Me too. And the entire premise is also a jab at the Dark Knight and how Ledger's Joker sort of seemed to be infatuated with Batman. Yeah. You won't get to fight any of this anymore. You... complete. <laughs> that was a deliberate clip to show. And at the same time it's 100% a Batman film, it also ties so nicely into the Lego movie universe with all the master building and acknowledgement of the yeah. plates holding the world together. As far as all the technical aspects I praised in the Lego movie, they're all present here. I know a lot of you were still under the impression both these movies are stop motion. It is actually CGI, but it's a special type of CGI that makes it look like real Legos. They again have camera movements and focus that makes it feel like an actual camera inside Lego structures with real Lego people always the highest levels of attention to detail in every aspect throughout the entire mm -hmm. film. And just like the Lego film, the background was always packed to the gills with references and jokes. There's so much going on in this film that they have shots that other movies would pause and make sure you appreciate, and instead they just breeze right past, moving the narrative along. And the references. Goodness, the references. I hit quite a lot, but there are way more. You could watch this movie 50 times and probably still find new ones. It also takes a few watches to even hear all the jokes through your own laughter. It really never lets up, but what do you really expect when the cast is made up of the comedy genius of Michael Cera, Will Arnett, and Zach Galifianakis? Yes, Papa. And Jenny Slade is quickly becoming a go-to voice actor. Hi there, I'm here from Phantom Zone Laundry. And while I still give Margot Robbie the edge, her Harley was pretty great all around. 
and then the two who surprised me were Ray Fiennes and Rosario Dawson, totally holding their own. When the biggest complaint coming out of the film was that there were too many jokes, I think you've done all right. Is that real lava? I'm okay. Excited to see where the franchise goes. Can't say I'm going nuts with anticipation for Ninjago, but hey, I wasn't super excited for this either. But the gauntlet has been thrown, Batfleck. Good luck. Though, saying that Will is your favorite Batman does win you some pre-film release wins for me. Thank you all so much for asking if I was a dad yet last week. It's weirder if it's not your son. When I did my first draft of this video, my wife was past her due date with no baby yet. But now, most of you know that I have a happy, healthy, beautiful son. Nice, man. My wife is nice. recovering very well, and we're just pretty stinking happy. Thanks nice, for asking man. about her and all your kind words on Twitter and here. I can't wait to share my love of movies with him soon. But I also want him to stay this size forever. Anyway, I was able to finish this video while my wife and baby Jude napped this week, about one day's worth of work, and I've started the next video. No guarantees when it'll be up, but I'm still here working, and I greatly appreciate Take your all your time, man. Work. Everybody get a bomb, let's go! Bomb, 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 let's bomb it out! Yay! <sighs> ah, that was a good video. I can just sit there and watch it all day. Oh, jeez, ah, stupid of me. I forgot to tell you guys to check out the original video. Okay, um, if you're still watching at this point, thank you, but please go check out the original video. Like, you probably would have checked it out first anyway, but please go check it out first. Well, oh, go check it out anyway, and go check out other stuff on that guy's channel, because it really is nice. Like, I like Cinema Sins, but I love Cinema Wins, because, hey, enough negativity that I deal with on a daily basis, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it is what it is. Anyway, so if you guys liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you did not, that is your business, and I will see you all in another video, because my stamina has got to be out. All right, peace. Allow me to demonstrate the skill of Shaolin, the special technique of shadow boxing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>